I swear not all of them are sad. <laughs> I promise. Uh, okay, so this next poem, it was really difficult for me to write because it's, an ex it's a newer experience, let's just say. But we were at a store probably about a year ago and I noticed, like my partner and I were at a store and kids were kind of like pointing at us and staring at us because that's of course what kids do. But I overheard a comment like to this child's mother asking them, asking the person about, are these two guys together? Like what's going on? They were really confused, let's just say. And I couldn't stop thinking about the mother's reaction. The mother just kind of was like, don't worry about it. Like, don't think about it. Don't acknowledge it. And in the back of my mind, I kind of eye rolled, but you know, you know, that's what happens. So I wrote this poem about it. It's titled Abrasion. It's a wonder we're still here. Our warranties expired in high school after years of gradual wear. Now war-hardened bodies sit in offices, classrooms, and gyms with hope that the daily grind will alleviate us of every slur, distract ourselves from the adult bullies who still throw around the word queer. We strive to stride with hands held, yet sometimes we stand in supermarkets like anxious deer with ears held back, only to wonder if we'll hear another slur. Children point at us, ask parents for explanations at all the inopportune times, but get no response. The historic perpetuation of misinterpretation we all still find. Our partnered palms sweat when we think of Matthew Shepard. Our skin crawls when we remember Pulse. Our families worry when we're out, but we know our closet doors fell off long ago. So don't worry, Mom and Dad. We're happy the way we are. So we'll fly our flag as high as we possibly can and be the foundation on which the new can stand. The years of painful abrasion won't destroy us because now we're smooth fields of granite. <laughs> <laughs>